So now we can see one of the experiment of power system lab 2 for ME power system engineering students first year second step. So this is experiment number 5 design of automatic voltage regulator. So the aim of this experiment is to design an automatic voltage regulator and to determine the output response using a suitable simulation package. So we all know an automatic voltage regulator uh, is nothing but a excitation control system of any synchronous generator. Synchronous generator is one of the main part of a power station. So that synchronous generator that uh, whose output uh, or uh, that excitation is one of the important uh, task for that particular generator. So that excitation has been controlled so that the output voltage of the uh, generator has also be controlled. By controlling the excitation you can control the output voltage. So the aim of the experiment is to design an automatic voltage regulator and to determine the output response using a suitable simulation packet. Here the software that we have used is MATLAB 2014 or updated version. So the theory behind this is uh, the, vol the voltage control system that is this generator voltage control system is called as excitation control system. So this is a diagram for an automatic voltage regulator. So there is a generator. Then there is a exciter whose field is excited by means of this exciter. Then there is an amplifier. Uh, the generator output voltage has been rectified and then compared. Uh, then it is amplified and then given to the exciter. So this is the general block diagram of a excitation system. So there are many types. So DC excitation, AC excitation, static excitation. These are uh, some classification of the excitation system. So each and every block we can draw the, we can find the transfer function. So at last you, you will get the overall transfer function G of S is Ka, Ke, K of divided by 1 plus STA into 1 plus STE into 1 plus STF. So these are the uh, objective function, uh, sorry, transfer functions you can able to find it out, okay. Then this is a MATLAB simulink diagram for that. So for this you need to go to simulink library and you can able to fire, take uh, the block blocks, summation block and then step input. So everything you can take, at last you can draw the scope, display system, scope, everything you can, uh, you can, uh, you can take it out and then you can uh, draw the simulink diagram. So see I have given the uh, constant values, time constant gain constant every values I have defined or I can I have taken a, a example problem uh, this problem from a textbook I have taken so this K, the amplifier K A the gain constant of amplifier is 10 time constant is 0.1 of the amplifier similarly exciter the gain constant is 1 and time constant is 0.4 similarly for generator the gain constant is 0.8 and time constant is 1.4 and similarly the output uh, that is sensed for that feedback system your uh, uh, gain constant is 1 and time constant is 0 0.05 so this is what it is there similarly uh, I have I have drawn this this is here two generators I have taken this is an interconnected system so I have taken here two generators operating in parallel interconnected system parallel system so this is the MATLAB simulating diagram at last I will get I have got the response for each generator 1 and generator 2 I have got like this okay so uh, like this you we need to first we can have a single system we can take the output and and second we can for parallel connection you can use a, a bus bar and then second system we can draw and then both the systems you can get the you can verify the output results okay so this experiment this experiment will clearly show uh, show you how to uh, see here what is the difference first generator that there is a no controller is used and second generator with which type of controller pid controller is used so pid controller whose gain con uh, that is kp ki kd value is defined and then fed as a one more input okay controller so at last you will get this generator 1 generator 2 so for generator 1 see the uh, overshoot is high and settling time is more whereas for generator 2 settling time is less then overshoot is less okay so these are the advantages when you use a controller so instead of a PID controller you can use a fuzzy logic controller 
instead of achi logic and you can use the the evil evolutionary programming techniques with that techniques you can control the value of kp ka kd and then you can uh, you can uh, feed the program here uh, from the workspace matlab workspace and also you can proceed well i like that you can get the output so this is the output response we have i have got for this particular type so that's the result thus the automatic voltage regulator was designed and simulated using simulink and a wave from corresponding wave forms are plotted